peeps welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a tutorial this is going to be a different kind of tutorial this is going to be like a talk through make a tutorial because usually my tutorials are voice over so I decided to go ahead and just let it be a talk through kind of tutorial today this is going to be the first look of the holiday season because I, I know everyone is getting ready to get with the Christmas looks and the the Thanksgiving looks, but this is just a kickoff of the holiday season. I use two great affordable palettes that you can get your hands on by the same company. I just realized I just use <laughs> the same company palettes, but different palettes. You guys get it? So I um, focus off of BH is Judy's Time palette and then also BH 28 Neutral. So I kind of like. I just realized I um just use two of the same company palettes. Wow, that don't normally happen in my tutorials. But yes, I have been doing a lot lately with YouTube. I have my third channel, which is Beauty Planner Nation. It's where beauty related videos, you guys, excuse me, planner related videos. If you guys like planner related videos, then you need to check that channel out, which should be in the description box. Because I know a lot of people don't really like playing with me's, and I know some do. And I want to make sure that this channel is for everyone. And also, I want to make sure that if I'm going to do a plan with me, then it should be over and on that channel. So, mainly, if you want to see more of my plan with me's and planner videos and things like that, you have to check out Beauty Planner Nation. And also, I do have a vlogging channel, which is, is Deanna's Light TV, where I sit and talk to you guys about what's going on in my daily life. And that's the channel that you guys need to go check out as well. So check out my second and third channel, which will be listed in the description box below. This look I'm loving because it's a vampy look. It's dark, and it's screaming holiday season. So... I am super excited and I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and I'm so glad to see. Hey peeps, see you guys and hello to my new subscribers and old subscribers. I welcome you guys or if you are a forever follower of mine, welcome back. If you're new, hello, welcome, join the family. If you're just now viewing my channel, just hit the subscribe button and also hit that little bell on top of the, you know on top of my banner on this channel because um if you love your girl you will get notifications from me daily whenever I post and also follow me on my social media website the longest intro I've ever done for this channel I know but let's get started to the video I'm super excited because I am just this is like my favorite time of the year you guys for real let's get started so first off, we're going to be starting out with a primer, and this is from Wet n Wild Cosmetics. And I've been really liking this primer lately. I'm trying to test out some new primers and switch up so it won't be like I'm using the same thing on this channel, you guys. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to apply it to my eyes. And I really recommend a primer no matter what look you're going for because a primer can definitely keep your shadows on all day. You don't want to put on eyeshadow and then within two hours your eyeshadows crease. You want to put a primer on and it lets your work show. So basically I'm just going to pack this on the eyes and blend it out very, very well with my finger. For a little bit of pigmentation color, I've been really liking to use the Maybelline Instant Age Line Concealer a little bit where I'm going to apply most of the shadow because you can also use this as a primer as well. Then I'm going to be taking my setting powder and I'm going to set everything. I know this is a different 
different steps that everyone normally uses on YouTube and any any way would do. But I like to do this step whenever I set my um powder, whenever I apply primer and concealer, is because I want the stuff to set and really work itself in. And whenever it's time to apply eyeshadow, these the primer is already set, and also the Maybelline Instant Hage Runner is set as well. Concealer. The palettes that I've been using a lot lately is the Judy Time Palette and the BH Cosmetics Palette, which looks like this. You can find this on bhcosmetics.com and also on your local raw store. So, first things first, I want to take a shade that's really like everyday-ish, but not too everyday-ish, like this typical shade right here. It's like a purple slash burgundy color with mixer of shimmer. So if you are all in for shimmer eyeshadows, then this is definitely going to be the shimmer eyeshadow. So I'm going to take the LA Colors. This is their professional eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to take it. I'm going to tap on major access and I'm going to apply it to the lid. Okay, so that color right there is just like your typical smoky eye color, but also you, you can do all kinds of looks with this color. That's one reason why I like it. Going in with the BH Cosmetics palette, and I really, really love this palette. I have a video on the Coastal Sins and the BH Cosmetics. It's called Battle... No, it's called the makeup is in the same video which I will have listed below. I have like a real full comparison of both palettes. I'm just going to take this uh, shimmer shade out of the palette and I'm going to apply it with a different eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take it and I'm just going to apply it above the color that we use just now to give it just a little bit more of a calm feel and not too much you know a boldness. You know it's kind of like an ombre look a little bit but when we get to blending and everything else it will definitely work its way in with this look get ready to go back in with this it's Judy Sign palette and I really love this palette because it has so much to go to you have your transition color you have everything that you need so I'm just going to take this light this dark brown right here it's kind of like this shade here but just a tad bit darker and I'm going to take it and I'm going to apply it in the crease. Now the crease shade is definitely going to be the shade where you want to really focus on the blending of the eyeshadow that's already on your lower lash line but also making sure that you have some type of color in your crease. So You see how well it already blend. I want to zoom in so you guys can like see. You see the difference from this eye is not blended, but this eye is blended. So that's what we're going for. Okay. So now we're going to be taking a highlight. You can leave this look the way it is. Apply some mascara and then my, um, eyeliner and go on with your day. But this right here is not a complete look for me. Um, I'm going to take this shade here called, it's like a vanilla shade. And a lot of you guys got on me in the past with this. Don't apply the white shade. The white shade don't look too good, but it's like a neutral shade. So here's the trick. If you have a darker shade like this in the eyeshadow quad trio palette you need to use this as your out your outer brow or your in brow and then like this is what i'm saying use this for your in brow look like right here and then you use the lighter shade as your inner corner like you will do in this little inner corner here but you will use it as your main shade here You see how it just tones down everything and not go strictly over the top?
Now, I like to add just a little bit of darkness in the outer V, just a little bit. You don't have to really do this. You can use a dark brown and keep it going, but I really, really like this. I really, It's like a grayish color. It's not really all the way black, so you really don't have to really fight with that um, choice of color. It's still going to be nice color for your outer V, but also it's still going to be like, not that, oh my gosh, this is like the darkest shade of the palette onto my eye. It's going to be so hard to blend. No. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to apply it to the RV okay then I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit to the crease The outer V is this little corner right here and right next to your upper lash line. If you guys are wondering, and you just create a tiny little V and just blend the shadows in. So, yeah. Okay, the next thing that I have been trying out something new is a new eyeliner I've been trying out for myself. It's new to me, but it's old in the makeup world. This is the Fergie Wet n Wild Eyeliner. I've been really trying out new eyeliners because I've always been all about the e.l.f. eyeliner. Blase, blase, blase. So I'm just going to take a MAC 102 brush and I'm just going to apply my eyeliner. Now I'm going to take a mascara, and this is the Maybelline, this is their the Big Eyes, and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to apply it to my lashes, a couple of coats. This next step, you guys wanted me to add in my videos more often. This is just my foundation routine. And I'm going to list all the foundation and everything else that I use in the description box below. And...
like I said, I will have the products listed below and also some of the reviews of the products that I did have videos already on will be listed below. Taking the LA Color High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss and this one is in the shade called Lavish and I just love their high shine. This is like the bomb dot com. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it apart. So here is the complete look. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Thumbs up if you want more videos like this that are talk through slash chatty chatty talk throughs or anything like that because mostly some of my tutorials are voiceover so if you're wondering um about this product here i do have a review listed in the description box below check out my description box for anything else that you need to know about this video but i am loving this look this is one of my first holiday looks of the season um i hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know in the comments below what videos would you like to see next? And I gotta go, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!